Here's what I always say. I don't quit. I don't stop. that you are going to be successful at whatever your product is whether it's apparel whether it's cooking food whether it's repairing on cars what are you going to do to make sure that you are successful and I'm gonna give you the seven traits on how you know that you are gonna be successful or you are at least in the right direction to being successful let's talk about them now Let's backtrack for a minute first. How did Michael Jordan know he was going to be successful? How did Apple Computers know his Steve Jobs was going to be successful? How did Magic Johnson know he was going to be successful? How did Bill Gates know that he was going to be successful? How did these people know? Let me share with you how they knew. All of these people had the same or six out of seven traits that they were gonna be successful. So let's jump into it right now. It's not a rocket science, it's really not. It's just about you, your product, and what you wanna do to make it work. Number one, you've got to be super competitive. Now what do I mean by that? You gotta be better, you gotta be stronger, you gotta be greater. Most people does what? They go to work at 8 o'clock, they come on at 5 o'clock, they eat dinner, and they're either in front of the TV reading a book or something. Well, if you've got to be more better, guess what? You're going to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You're going to check You're gonna check your numbers. You're going to check your emails. You're going to check questions that needs to be answered. You're going to check your total sales that came in overnight before you even go to your regular job. And then when you get off, guess what? You're gonna do the same repetitive thing that you did from 5 to 7.30 that morning before you made to work at 8 o'clock. You're gonna make your phone calls, you're gonna check your cell. You're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna do it to 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Number two, you've got to like to finish. I like to finish. If I read a book, I'm gonna finish it. If I start on a video, I'm gonna finish it. If I set up a photo shoot, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to finish it. I do not do anything until I follow through with all my steps. Follow through is extremely important to your success. Follow through, finishing, completing. That is important. Whatever you do, finish it. Whether it make it somewhere or not, finish it. You're going to feel the difference. Your circle, your circle of friends burns you out. That means they're gonna be greater than you, better than you, stronger than you, want something better than you, and here's the key to that. You will want that eventually what they want. Why? Because you are super competitive. You wanna be like the circle of friends that, that you run with, that you eat with, that you go to the movies with, that you meet with. They are going to burn you out. And here's the thing, it's okay. It's okay for them to burn you out. That's what you want. Your mind never stops thinking. My mind never stops thinking. I'm telling you, I am constantly, from the time I wake up in the morning and I finish meditation, I'm telling you, my mind is constantly on something. Either it's on um, getting the batches of barbecue sauce, Burns barbecue sauce that I produce, completed that day, or um, uh, completing a video, or trying to get the elements of the video, which means the songs and the, the text and the colors and the uh, B-rolls and all of that right. 
uh, thinking about that or thinking about a photo shoot, a future photo shoot I'm getting ready to uh, set up and produce for Burns Barbecue Sauce uh, that I'm manufacturing. My mind never stops about how to move to the next level. How do super competitive people make it on a day-by-day -day basis? How do they think? That's what you want. How do they think is what's important to you. So no, your mind is never going to stop. Your mind is always going to be on the who, what, why, when, and there. Whatever your product is, it never stops. Credible people are who you circle with because they are always going places. Credible people in your circle, here's what's going to happen. You need a business plan. Their, credi their credibility shows that they're very successful, right? So guess what? They're going to give you a copy of a business plan that you can take a look at. You might need to learn how to work Excel. They're going to pull you in the office and say, hey, Sally, show him how to work. Show her how to work Excel. Credible people that you run with will always have a resource, always show you their ability, always show you how much strength they have to move to the next level, to do what they need to do. And you will be able to tap into that person that is credible because you like what you see and you want to do like they do with your own product. Always learning. Always put yourself in the mind of learning. I always put myself in the mind of learning. I never stop learning. Whether it's a YouTube uh, video or if it's someone talking about uh, how to become a millionaire, um, someone talking about the steps uh, that you may take that won't get you to a millionaire, it's always something that's gonna keep you learning to move to the next level. How to set up a spreadsheet or how to manufacture those uh, that that t-shirt that apparel that you want and you don't know what to do, but since you run with credible, credible people, guess what? They're gonna show you how to do it. They're gonna allow you to tap into their resources. Always be in a position to learn. Always, never stop. Never stop learning. If I'm at a networking event and I've already collected all my emails and collected this and collected that and talked to the people I want to talk to, guess what? My mind is over there in the corner somewhere looking at somebody's colors, uh, listening to somebody talk, uh, taking a word that they were speaking about and making that, formulating that into a video. I mean, it could be anything. And since I'm getting ready to start pursuing uh, setting up a live stream podcast on YouTube, guess what? Now that's what I'm learning. Like I say, never stop learning. There's always something to learn when you're trying to move to the next level. Because when you start to learning, here's what's going to happen. You're never going to focus on that one thing. Now your mind is going to expand into something else. Because you're going to see those credible people. They're not just invested in the one thing. They're invested in the A through M. Something that's going to make them money. And something that's going to make them happy. And last but not least. Last but not least. Extremely obsessive. That means you gotta want it. You gotta have it. You gotta make it work. Now here's a prime example. YouTube, I have just qualified in January 2018 for YouTube to be monetized. And then two weeks prior, YouTube had changed the rules. That's why I couldn't figure out why it was taking them so long to, to send me my congratulations. I had 13 subscribers and YouTube said you're going to have to qualify with a thousand subscribers and I'm sitting there looking like, what, a thousand subscribers? But you know what, I wanted to be monetized so bad, I wanted to do this, what I wanted to do on YouTube so bad, I wanted to enhance all of my abilities on YouTube so bad, guess what, I took a week off. And then I started researching, okay, who can I find that can help me get to a thousand? So I started looking at the big boxers, the 
Casey Neistats and the uh, Peter McKinnon and the Nick Nimmons and the Benjamin Brandon and, and all these, uh, uh, Lisa Kosky and all these who have $400,000, 400,000 subscribers. Well, here's the problem there. They had too many, too many subscribers. They wasn't gonna help me get where I'm trying to go. They don't even know me. So guess what? I started researching again. I started finding individuals that have 5,000 subscribers, 1,500 subscribers, and I started researching what are they doing to, to get these subscribers. And I hit the magic button. But here was the thing, what did I say? I never stop. I never stop. I had to have it at that point to get to a thousand subscribers. Now this might not seem like it's a lot to you or you're happy about it, but I was happy about it because in February 2018, I had 13. July 12th, 2018, I had reached 1,000. And of course, YouTube sent me the congratulations and the little confetti and the balloons and everything. And then they said, okay, you're on your way to reaching 10,000. What? Okay, can you just let me enjoy the 1,000 first? <laughs> anyway, I never quit. I gotta have it. When I started, I already know what the end result is gonna be. So I just gotta figure out what? What do I gotta figure out? I always say it. I gotta figure out what the end result is. I hope that you are successful at whatever your endeavors are. Hey, enjoy yourself. Whatever you do, enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. Wherever you go, whoever you're with, whatever you're doing, and if you're by yourself, enjoy your life. I've got to have it. So I know when I begin my research, I look at what the end result can be, and then I fast, go backwards, and then I start moving towards the end result. That's why I never stop. That's why I never give up. And that's why you should never stop. And that's why you should never give up. <laughs>